What is up folks? I got an interesting video here for you. Uh, but first, before we start, uh, we're gonna look at uh, textbooks of science from Pakistan. Now, I don't know if Pakistan has other educational boards with other textbooks, but one I found is science textbooks uh, with a lot of religion in it. So let's take a look. All right, so this is first page of physics book in Pakistan. So let's read. Almighty Allah created this universe billions of years ago with a single word, B. And at once it came into B. He inducted several uh, principles and laws into it to sustain its function. Now, from the day of their creation, every particle of the universe has been following these laws. These laws are known as the laws of nature. Apparently, they are hidden from the eyes of mankind and are mysteries for him. Our solar system, including the Earth, is a small component of this immense universe. This is composed of matter and hence a physical world. Dude, if it wasn't for school level science and physics especially, uh, I wouldn't be sitting here right now doing what I do. The science, the understanding of the world was brought to me from science in school and of course science from other sources also, but school primarily. And I trust what I'm being taught in school. If I'm taught something like this and as a child, of course, uh, I would blindly believe anything I'm told because I'm trying to learn. I don't have faculties of critical thinking as a child yet. So if I come across something like this, of course, it's going to indoctrinate me to religious beliefs for the rest of my life. I don't want to make fun of this because there are genuine human beings that are going to learn this, going to read this book. Let's read the rest, shall we? Human being is the best creature of Allah in this world and has been endowed with many qualities. One of them is to unfold the, and discover the laws of nature. He has curiosity in his nature, which when he looks around, he observes that innumerable number of events are taking place. He sees that clouds are floating in the sky, rain falls from them. Shit man, this is sad. Thunder occurs and lightning flashes in the clouds. Several tiny plants and beautiful grass appear on the surface of dry land. He observes that there are many objects that catch fire while others do not. Heat burns things and destroys their identity. Some matter appears in solid state, some in liquid, other in gaseous state. These and many other observations raise several questions in his mind. Oh man. The rationalization is pretty heavy in this one. I think they do go into physics after this, but they are prefacing the whole thing with God is a reason for why the laws exist, why everything in physics exists. Um, let's read. He asks where and how clouds are formed, uh, how lightning flashes in clouds, why common objects catch fire and others do not, why some objects catch. What is the nature of heat? How is it produced? Mm. Yeah, man. But it's not over. I've got more. This is evolution in Pakistan. When population becomes separated, a gene flow between them ceases. Over time, the populations may become genetically different in response to natural selection imposed. You know what? This actually is proper like it's talking about allelic frequencies when they are separated uh, selection genetic drift will act on these two species different genetic backgrounds creating differences between two species this is genuine biology genuine evolution uh, i assume the god part is over here it's been put in brackets but let's see the rest of it. I think this is all genuine evolution. For example, plants that live in boundaries between very distinct climates may flower at different times in response to their different environments. Oh, this section is full of calling evolution a theory and trying to dismiss it as much as possible. The theory of evolution proposed by Charles Darwin in the 19th century is one of the most unbelievable and irrational claims in history. Despite this, over its 150 year history, the people who have accepted it have failed to produce any scientific evidence supporting the theory. Tons of evidence. We have mapped our genome, different species genome and looking at similarities in DNA, that is evidence. Fossils in different layers corresponding to the time in which those species existed on Earth, that is evidence. 
what more should i talk about there, there are a lot of things the geographical existence of certain animals like the fact that there are marsupials only in australia all that is evidence the theory puts forth the irrational claim that all organisms plants animals and human beings are the result of blind unconscious accidental events oh my god dude a uh, natural selection the driving force behind evolution is the furthest thing from accidental random unconscious i mean un- conscious and unconscious you can make a debate over that but it's not accidental it's not random only select individuals that survive environmental hardships survive and pass on their genes that is the furthest thing from random evolutionists believe that millions of years ago in the primal soup of the ocean pools of water and mindless atoms with no knowledge powers of reason came together in certain proportions and later by chance formed the proteins and cells that even today's scientists with the most advanced lab technology have not been able to duplicate they go so far as to say that these cells in turn again by sheer chance formed starfish sparrows hogs all these animals and even human beings if human efforts cannot produce any living thing using whole pool of human knowledge how can life be brought from unconscious atoms and chance events so the origin of life research is something ongoing and i believe synthetic actually i'm not sure about this so i can't say it out there so confidently but the research into that is currently being done that doesn't automatically mean there can never be any life produced by human efforts and this is what's true any intelligent human being of conscience can certainly understand that all living things including himself cannot be the result of chance events textbook but spelling errors <laughs> that's the least of our worries spelling errors are the least of our worries every intelligent unprejudiced person but the conscience knows that allah has created all these living things with this incomparable power yeah man this is sad i'm not reading that last para it's not over yet we have more human anatomy in the university of dhaka department of chemistry they're trying to find arabic words i'm assuming this has some uh, relation to god i would assume uh in the skeletal structures of human hands here again human hands and the human skeleton look at this this is muhammad it's sad man it's sad when they try to indoctrinate i mean these are innocent children poor children who are going to uh, live the rest of their lives believing all this to be some kind of uh reality obviously their moms and dads are going to tell them same thing and their schools are also going to tell them this what's going to happen to them god only knows right but yeah man i just thought this was interesting enough that i should make a video about it tell me what you guys think yeah i i don't want to mock them dude because uh, i think this is literally abuse what they do to children these are innocent children who don't know any better whose only sources of learning tell them this sort of thing isn't this abuse telling them untruths like this I feel bad for the children who are going to learn from these books yeah I man that's it for this video yeah i'm kind of not in a good mood right now so i'll see you in the next one